Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm just putting together grip today for a friend on a win and win. Uh, WOS um, Nano TFT actually. I'm putting a grip together. Uh, so as you know, every single grip is made for everyone and no one. So I'm just putting a bit more of an, a sharper edge out this side so that it follows the the lifeline of your hand a little bit more naturally rather than trying to force it in. I'm just going to let the hand sit in there. So I'll run you through what I'm going to do. I've got myself some Knead It. You can't see the label anymore because I've chopped it off, but you can get it from Bunnings. Um, it's just the multi-purpose one versus the marine one. Um, and it works out really well. It's nice and waterproof and doesn't absorb water too much. Um, looks like that. So we'll run through that. I've obviously got a knife as well and a couple of files for when it's nice and dry. So I'm just going to mix this up now. Be back in a second. So with this kneaded stuff, it's probably preferable to um, wear gloves. If you smell it, it doesn't smell very pleasant and it's probably not the greatest while it's being mixed. But anyway, so for a section about that long, um, and it's only going to be, I don't know, four or five mils depth, um, I probably only want about that much there. So we're not going to use the whole grip. I don't know if you can see past my hand. We're not going to use the whole grip back here, so we don't need to fill it up any. Um, so I'll probably just use that much. And what I also do with... Um, my grip is this little gap here. Let's find something to point with. Knife is fine. This little gap here, this little triangle, I just put a tiny little bit in there as well. Just so I've got a really nice straight in kind of reference and it fills in that mushy part for me. So I'll put a tiny little bit here and then just enough to come back to here. Which is a roughly, and we can always get rid of the overdone the too much roughly about that much all righty back in a sec with that mixed up all righty we're back all really well mixed up i don't know if you can see that in the camera but there's you want to make sure that there's no more marbling so on the inside of this it's quite dark and on the outside is light so you want to make sure that the dark and light are mixed together properly you don't have much time to do this, probably maximum five minutes. You want to make sure it's not grainy anymore, it's not marbled anymore. And then you've got a very, very short amount of time to get done what you want to get done. So the smallest little pinch for our triangle. And just remember, you can always file this away if it's too bulky or too much. Um, some people don't prefer to put this little triangle up here. Um, there's probably a few very, very good examples on YouTube of people that do like using it, so there's no right or wrong way. So what I'm going to start to do is build the wing out this side, and I'm not going to come back too far. And I've made it high enough so that I can file it down, I can give it that sort of steeper angle if you want. Um, but the angle on this grip is really good for this particular archer, so... I'll try and leave the depth um, relatively even um, right the way through. So I want to keep this side nice and sharp, even though we're not going to use it per se. Put a bit of a drop here so that that knuckle there, that bone there, naturally falls into the riser. So I want to get rid of that little bit there. Same on this side as well, where our where our where is my hand? Where our um, what's this finger called? <laughs> index finger our index finger we want it to fall away a little bit as well although this person has requested a little bit of a raise here um, just like a safety blanket for now um, still a beginner still um, learning some stuff so I want to teach her how to keep that knuckle up um, a little bit forced at the moment but we'll get rid of it over the next couple of weeks we'll get rid of that um, bit that I've just put in that side so yeah I've made the putty about I don't know let's say f five or six mils at its widest point slightly wider than the grip um, flat surface on top of course which is going to slightly angle that way that way so slightly 
uh, angled towards the thumb side so your hand naturally falls that way and we're not going to force it the other way so it's heating up already so it's just about cured and we make sure we don't go back too far because we don't need to it's just edit extra weight and then if I put my hand in there yeah, it's starting to feel nice already so I want my finger my my index knuckle to sit up naturally high that's me preferably and I've got that little gap filled in nicely and I think after this is cured I'll get rid of a little tiny bit of this edge because it's it's quite bulky um, yeah, that's us so far the good thing about this knead it putty is it's it's already going hard I don't I'm not going to get much of a choice to do anything else but um, I actually put some shoe glue on her grip earlier on today and thinking it was going to cure a lot faster than it did but it didn't anyway um, all right I'll just bring you around this way and you can have a look from the back as well so just looking from the back, you can see how much of a wing or a platform I've put out the side there. So I'm going to get rid of this rounded edge and make that quite sharp. And I'm also going to get rid of quite a bit of this because it's too much and definitely all of that because I want it to follow that natural soft lifeline versus that really sharp, well, really flat. Oh, lifeline. I'm going to watch out for these little inclusions in it as well, these little bit bit there. It may end up being a soft patch, but anyway, it's all good. Yeah, so that's pretty set. What's that? Maximum five minutes. Um, here's a top-down view of the... Oops, where are we? Where's my finger? There it is. Where it slips in between those two knuckles, naturally. So that grip, for me, um, feels quite nice but I might also if I look back from here I would definitely drop this side down that's the best angle drop this side down a little bit more like a few more degrees just so that your thumb naturally wants to roll this way and so you can get right in behind the pressure anyway be back soon I thought it might be just easier if I mark it with a pen just so I can show you what I mean when I want to take out the edge so my lifeline runs down there um, and this other lady's hands are a lot narrower as well so I think I want to just get rid of quite a bit of bulk through here and it I don't know if you can imagine where the old line was but it's not um, it's quite far in so I'm going to get rid of probably a lot of this out here and Obviously, you want to flatten it, uh, angle it. Sorry, angle it down this way, and I'll probably end up getting rid of um, a little bit of that bulk there as well. I'm not sure if you can see, but anyway, I'll get rid of all of this wing. All I want was a little step out at about where am I? A little step out about here somewhere, and fall back to the natural line of the grip from there. So a little bit out here, get rid of all of this, and then start angling that away with the file. Oh, we'll be back. Alright, just a wee progress check. Um, so you can see how we've taken off, or well, we've rounded that side, so that's the side where the lifeline goes. Definitely sharpened up this side here, just to make it nice and clean. And uh, flattened the back down a little bit, just to make it less bulky and a little bit more clean as well. Uh, you can see the index finger side is dropping away, but I, she's still got that piece out there that she's requested for a bit of like uh, index knuckle support, and the thumb side's dropping away. So I don't know if I put my hand in it, you can see just it slides in there nicely. So a little bit more work to do in regards to the bulk. Um, I'll bring you around the back so you can have a look at the angle of that. Back in a second. So here's a video of the back so far. So it's still slightly rounded on this profile here. I'll get it a little bit sharper in a second. Um, but that's the kind of angle I'm starting to want. Is that slightly dropped away on this side versus if you look at the the line of 
the line of the back of here and it's just just starting to dip down now which is cool so it's on the right and they're heading in the right direction um, yeah good so far work to do back in a sec alrighty uh, back and almost finished uh, one thing I wanted to point out before is when I'm filing them I like to leave a lot of texture on them so it's not so slippy in the rain and also I like personally to leave this edge very very sharp or quite sharp because if you're on that edge it's really sharp but if you're off that edge you can't actually feel it so uh, and it's all individual preference for each archer I've got other archers I work with that like that edge very soft and rounded um, so yeah just thought I'd point that out um, I've left this index finger side slightly higher than the thumb side just to uh, get the feeling of doing that rather than that so that lift with the index finger versus drop with the index finger a um, little bit more support for that person uh, also wanted to show you mine as a comparison for shape what can you see a little bit wobbly wobbly um, so my one's a lot longer my hand is a little bit bigger than hers maybe um, I've put the the little triangle of putty up the top there for her but I haven't shaped it because I'm not sure where her hand's going to sit per se um, and you can see on mine uh, the wing is a lot less very very subtle um, and the drop is a lot smoother um, profile wise I've are we in the right place yeah I followed the profile of her grip to almost you know well, almost the same profile and same on mine I've followed it relatively close as well um, the the V on mine filling in of the V on mine is a lot sharper because I like a little bit more support through here um, I can I'm, I'll probably get rid of this bulky part here and if we can point to it this part here and also the bottom of this I'll get rid of a lot of that too I never want to be never want to feel pinched into that riser and let's see if we can see the back can we see the back on this angle I might have to come back to you on that one I'll show you another angle in a second so here's a quick look at the back of this archer's bow now so if I level out the back of the black handle and then I level out the um, back of the putty there's quite a lot of difference between there and there, even though it doesn't look much. Um, it'll feel very, very cool. And the same as mine. Mine's on a bit of a skew with, but it feels really nice. Yeah. Alrighty. Just about done now. So I'll take it to um, work tomorrow and she can have a try. I think this is a really nice angle now. I've left it quite sharp. Uh, yeah, as I said before feedback is important if they're if you're getting feedback from a sharp edge it's probably because you're on it too much which is why I like to leave it sharp but some people prefer it really soft um, that side I'm happy with the angle downwards and the angle towards the thumb is really good I started shaping this just for fun um, I like to try and get um, the very point of this triangle to sort of match up halfway through the plunger button which is about I don't know, the inside of the riser, the inside of the line of the riser, uh, just so it, that's where you naturally want to push through, sort of, what can we see, about there somewhere, push through there, so yeah, that's where I've dropped it to, so um, yeah, we'll put, put it in her hands tomorrow, uh, see what she thinks, and we can modify from there, but yeah, that's how I make my grips.